Welcome to my presentation about OpenSUSE on the mainframe. I am Sarah Julia Griech and I, and I am a German uh, DevOps uh, consultant at Accenture and contribute to OpenSUSE since around nine years. Since one year, I am a member of the S390X port at OpenSUSE and uh, I am a member of the release engineering team. Many of you uh, won't know something about mainframes, therefore I want to give you a small introduction uh, into mainframes and the architecture S390X, what is the history and where it comes from. Then we are coming to the topic OpenSUSE, our two uh, distributions OpenSUSE Tumbleweed and OpenSUSE Leap. Then what is new there, which uh, features uh, are new and which the relationships uh, do we have got uh, uh, during uh, our development life cycle and in general. From that we are coming to the open source way and our uh, new uh, uh, project about public container images for IBM C and at the end I will tell you something about open source container platforms and our projects there. Mainframes are large high performance computer systems. Many people are calling them also big engines. If you are looking into upstream uh, projects and uh, something isn't enabled for mainframes, then uh, there is an issue that it, is, it would not be supported for big engine systems as an example. These uh, systems are used uh, mostly for mission critical applications. So users are mostly uh, banks uh, uh, and uh, 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 global players and you can run thousands of VMs on such a system. On the right side uh, you can see a Linux One system. That is an IBM system with a special configuration for Linux that exists also of, uh, for non uh, uh, Linux uh, 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 systems and without uh, this uh, uh, special configuration. These systems are called IBM C then and these systems uh, together exist since 1964. As I uh, said before, the uh, mainframe architecture uh, S390X is available for IBM C and Linux One. Uh, the first IBM mainframe system had the name ES9000 and came uh, in the year 1990 on, uh, to the market. Afterwards there was the introduction of IBM 3090 in the middle of 1990 that was the 32-bit architecture and uh, you call that uh, system S390 and from that uh, there was the name expanded to S390X for the 64-bit architecture in uh, the uh, 2000 years and this uh, architectures uh, uh, are available also for COS CVSE, CTPF and the uh, virtual machine system CVM uh, uh, of IBM besides of C Linux. What is C Linux? C Linux uh, 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 is Linux in general for IBM C and there are multiple runnable Linux distributions on IBM C and Linux One. The most important Linux distributions for IBM are the, are the Enterprise Linux distributions RHEL, SLES and Ubuntu. But there are also community maintained Linux distributions for IBM C and Linux One. The most uh, important and uh, is, is since uh, a longer time support uh, community supported Linux distributions are Fedora, OpenSUSE and Debian and since around one year you can use also Gentoo Linux and Alpine Linux. 
Alpine Linux is mostly used for uh, container systems. And uh, the other ones uh, are mostly community driven. And we are, I will tell you a little bit more about OpenSUSE today. From that, we are coming to OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. OpenSUSE Tumbleweed is our rolling release of OpenSUSE. It is recommended for development and really experienced users because you can receive latest pa uh, packages via upstream development. It is tested with OpenQA. Many of our users are asking, uh, where is a rolling release? I don't receive any uh, uh, breaks or something else because it is so well tested. Yes, we are testing it with OpenQA automatically before the releases. And uh, OpenSUSE Tumbleweed is the base for OpenSUSE Leap and SUSE Linux Enterprise Server. OpenSUSE Tumbleweed uh, exists also for S390X. The first Tumbleweed snap uh, shot was in the year 2016. Afterwards, there was a small break because of missing resources. And last year I joined this team and since 2020, we have got mostly weekly snapshots uh, since this time uh, because we have got more activity in our team. Our repositories are marked with C systems at the end where uh, you can download uh, our ISO images from download.opensuse.org and uh, the, the special architectures as uh, ARM, C systems and everything else are ports uh, of the x86 uh, architecture and you are receiving uh, your special packages forwarded to the ports. So our uh, identicator is C systems. So you are receiving uh, all of our uh, repositories the uh, open source software debug, the default repo and everything else from these uh, URLs. Besides of our rolling release, we provide also for a stable release that is, has got the name OpenSUSE Leap. A stable release is yearly released and it is recommended for servers and desktops. Since uh, our last version 15.3, our binaries are compatible with SLES. We are using the same packages uh, 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 as, as, as SUSE for our uh, OpenSUSE Leap system. And it is tested with OpenQA and, de and our developers and users additionally. We provide yearly releases. At the beginning of uh, the, every uh, OpenSUSE Leap release, it is equal to Tumbleweed, more rolling, but with, stable, uh, with more uh, stabilization and everything else, it is more and more equal to a, a default uh, a stable release. OpenSUSE Leap 15.3 for S390X is our first stable release of OpenSUSE uh, uh, Leap for S390X. Since this time, we have got the possibility to use the Linux One Community Cloud with a change from SLES to OpenSUSE because IBM officially supports only the enterprise Linux uh, distributions. And in our case, because of the binary compatibility, we can upgrade these uh, VMs uh, to OpenSUSE. So if you want uh, to use uh, uh, for your community contributions or for upstream development, uh, a community Linux distributions, you should uh, choose uh, a slash and upgrade uh, to OpenSUSE then. The next planned release of OpenSUSE Leap is June 2022. The repositories uh, for OpenSUSE uh, Leap um, are more uh, equal uh, 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 to 
our uh, tumbleweed uh, 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 distribution. In this case, you can find all architectures in one uh, repository. Uh, so you uh, don't specify the C systems in this case, all ISO images are added to one uh, repo in this case. From our, uh, the, the stories about uh, our uh, distributions, we are coming to factory as the foundation for our development cycle. Here you can see uh, the uh, name submission that is uh, equivalent to a commit uh, to GitHub only in our uh, open build service uh, tool. So you can receive upstream uh, uh, contributions uh, as packages into our open build service. Then it will be reviewed automatically if uh, the contributor is submitting it. Then we have got an integrated CI/CD pipeline into our open build service. Uh, and uh, we have got additional manual reviews. Then it is all coming into factory, our development base where all will be merged uh, together. And we create our ISO images based on that. That all will come into uh, QA our open QA system, where uh, the installation and everything will be tested, is all working. And uh, if uh, all tests are passed with uh, the requirement, with, with these required uh, packages, then we are releasing OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. OpenSUSE Leap has got uh, something between QA and uh, uh, Tumbleweed. In this case, instead of Tumbleweed, you, are, you have got additional uh, uh, users and testers there. So we are testing and expanding it. And then uh, we release OpenSUSE Leap in this case. I told you we are using the same package foundation as uh, a SUSE Linux Enterprise Server for OpenSUSE Leap. Here you can uh, see how we are doing that. I told you about the uh, development lifecycle with OpenSUSE Factory, how we are receiving our uh, Tumbleweed releases. And here you can see both uh, Linux distributions are forks uh, of uh, OpenSUSE Tumbleweed on this way. We are using the uh, same core packages. We are receiving core packages from SUSE Linux Enterprise for OpenSUSE Leap. The difference is the branding and the configuration then. So we have got separate uh, packages for the OpenSUSE branding, the SUSE branding and the special configurations. And then we provide the SUSE Linux Enterprise uh, the backports packages so that you can use community packages on SUSE Linux Enterprise. On this way, we are collaborating together with SUSE, but that is not all. I have uh, referenced the open source way here because uh, uh, that is the foundation for most uh, communities and uh, in general, uh, uh, the Linux distributions. Red Hat has uh, created uh, a guide uh, for that. You can find that on the opensourceway.org. Thank you who to Carsten Nevada some presentations before uh, me. Here is uh, given uh, a presentation about the open source way 2.0. If you didn't see that, I give you as a small overview about uh, that, what it is. It is uh, the way to uh, uh, create and collaborate within communities. And for that, you have to understand the core concepts of open source communities. So you are collaborating 
Well, uh, with uh, communities, in our case, I have referenced an example of the uh, relationship between SUSE and OpenSUSE. But at OpenSUSE, we are collaborating not only with our main sponsor, we are collaborating also with our partner communities. Here is the community collaboration with the open source way. On top, you can see the free uh, enterprise uh, distributions. And of course, all are collaborating a little bit, uh, or uh, in our case, really closed with the, uh, their own community distributions. We are sharing packages. We are working together. Many uh, uh, employees of our main sponsors are contributing to us. So Red Hat is collaborating with Fedora, of course, the same as SUSE is collaborating with OpenSUSE. Ubuntu is, uh, 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 is uh, based on Debian. Uh, so that is really equal. But there are small relationships between OpenSUSE and Fedora, the same as between OpenSUSE and Debian. That is uh, because we have got multiple contributors contributing to different uh, co uh, community distributions in parallel. We, have, we are using the same foundation uh, 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 we are using the Linux kernel, we are using base packages everywhere equal. Why shouldn't we make it possible that our contributors can contribute to multiple Linux distributions? You can uh, have a focus on a special package or you can uh, say, I want to contribute to this architecture, but to multiple communities. These uh, community contributors are called cross-community members. So you are a member in multiple community distributions. I said we are using the Linux kernel as an example. We are using KVM on the left side for upstream development. You can see the GNU tools or on the right side, I, I, you can see the GitHub logo as an example for all uh, important GitHub uh, upstream projects who are integrated into our community distributions. These community distributions are also called upstream uh, uh, distributions. So we are integrating the latest as, as software into our uh, community distributions and the enterprise distributions are based on us. From that, we are coming a little bit uh, to my uh, company. Uh, 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 I am working uh, for two digits within uh, Accenture. And Accenture is, has got the 360 degree values. So we have got the goal uh, of sustainability and uh, we at two digits are receiving until eight hours per week uh, for open source contributions uh, and other activities uh, usable uh, 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 for our customers and general purpose. Our goal with uh, open source contributions is that you can reuse open source software and with that we want to provide our customers the freedom of choice uh, with multiple platforms and multiple uh, uh, software. On this way we can expand also our partner portfolio that is closed uh, uh, to uh, the open source way. Why shouldn't uh, we collaborate with others? And then we have got other benefits. You can create uh, innovation with uh, open source development and we collaborate with uh, communities and expand our network on this way. We are using the Linux One Community Cloud as a development environment. Thank you to, for IBM for sponsoring that all. There are multiple access types for uh, the Linux One Community Cloud. 
IBM provides free access with uh, one, uh, 120 days for a single, op uh, for a single uh, open source contributors. These systems are based on SLES, REL or Ubuntu. But if uh, you uh, want to re uh, receive long-term access, there is uh, a, a way to receive uh, uh, VMs for a longer time. We at OpenSUSE have received long, seven long-term uh, access VMs, so we can uh, distribute it uh, in our team that we can work continuously on our VMs. We are using these VMs uh, uh, for uh, our uh, uh, open source day at the end of uh, the week. And as, uh, on this way, we can use it for education and hackathons. And if you are interested for such a long-term access, con uh, speak with Elizabeth uh, from IBM. Uh, and if you are writing as an open source project to this at ibm.com, you can receive all those such systems and you can upgrade it to OpenSUSE perhaps or using it in general for the development stuff. From that, we are coming to our purpose, what we are doing in this Linux One Community Cloud at the moment. We are uh, seven uh, employees at Accenture and we want uh, the, the, to enable container platforms for IBM C. The main problem was that there was uh, no, only a small number of public container images for S390X on Docker Hub and the container registries by Red Hat and IBM are not public. So we thought about the creation of container images via OpenSUSE as a first step. Therefore, I created an overview for containerization with the open source way. We don't want to do that only for OpenSUSE, we want to have it for all. So all running uh, Linux distributions and IBM C should be supported at the end so that you can uh, run multiple container uh, platforms uh, uh, on, uh, on these Linux distributions and you can use public container images then. Mo most people who are using containers know Docker Hub, yes. Uh, we want uh, to publish our containers also on Docker Hub at the end, but we are developing uh, based on the registry.opensuse.org and registry Fedora project.org first. We have started with uh, registry.opensuse.org, so you are receiving OpenSUSE uh, based uh, images from registry.opensuse.org, uh, and uh, these uh, container images should be runnable on OpenShift. Kubernetes in general, OKD, Minikube, oh, our own uh, Kubernetes uh, platform, OpenSUSE Cubic and Rancher. What is uh, registry.opensuse.org? You have seen it besides of Docker Hub before. Registry.opensuse.org is the container registry by OpenSUSE. We are building multi ice container images there, so you can use it for x86, S390X, ARM, PowerPC, and other architectures. These uh, container images are built with uh, our open build service continuously based on OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. We plan it to do that also with OpenSUSE Leap, but it is an easy step uh, uh, to uh, uh, expanded because uh, our open build service give us the possibility uh, to build uh, that all automatically without many overhead. Our created images until now for S390X are firstly the uh, web server uh, uh, things, HTTPD, NGINX and the application server Tomcat. Besides of that, I have added 
on top open LDAP and NFS, uh, uh, NFS server as a foundation. Then you want uh, to uh, be able to compile and run your uh, uh, applications which was written in a specific language. For that, we have created uh, uh, container images with Golang, OpenJDK, and PHP 8 together with Nginx. But I uh, have added a line with databases, so you can uh, choose uh, between MariaDB, MariaDB Client, and PostgreSQL as databases in uh, uh, our first container images. And then there are also uh, co uh, container images available with Postfix, HA Proxy, RMT Server, Samba, Squid, and Hugo at the moment. We plan to create also uh, con some images based on F Fedora. For that, uh, I thought about uh, uh, the, the usage uh, of Fedora for Red Hat specific open source projects. So you will find, as an example, Wildfly based on Fedora in the future uh, uh, from us. I told you so much of, about the open build service and that we are using it for creation of container images. The open build service is a sub project of OpenSUSE and that's our uh, tool of choice for the creation of ether images, packages, and container images automatically. The open build service has got an integrated CI CD pipeline. So uh, the packages and container images are only published if they, the builds are really succeeded. The same counts for ether images, but all is running also through our uh, automated tests with, with uh, OpenQA. In, if you are interested for our tool, how to build with that and everything else, you can receive a nice overview via build.opensuse.org. That is uh, our own open build service. If you, but you can also uh, install it for your own. That is an open source project from OpenSUSE. So you can uh, receive all the uh, uh, software for free as open source under openbuildservice.org. The same accounts for the documentation that is uh, uh, there available and you can use it and test it. Our supported Linux distributions in OBS, that's exactly the open source way again. We don't support only OpenSUSE and SLES. We are supporting multiple Linux distributions. Here you can see we provide Rails, SLES and Ubuntu. Then you can build for Fedora, uh, uh, OpenSUSE and Debian, of course, but we provide also Univention, Raspbian, CentOS, CentOS Stream, Magaya, Arch Linux, and Scientific e Linux. Besides of that, we have got uh, also special uh, uh, installation types or distributions. You can also build for IBM Power, KVM, and AppImage. What are the benefits of container images built with OBS then? We are, I told you we are creating that continuously, so you are receiving the latest uh, uh, package versions uh, uh, based uh, on the Linux distribution and then uh, in uh, your container registry released. So uh, you are receiving the latest versions uh, and uh, they are only released if they have passed the CI CD pipeline. You can publish to all public container registry with that. If you are looking to Docker Hub uh, to uh, open through the Tumbleweed container image, as an example, you can see 
that is built with the open build service and published directly to Docker Hub. This, we are doing the same with our own container registry, registry.opensuse.org, so you can find the latest container images there and if we have tested it en enough and we are, uh, we are saying we want to have it also in Docker Hub, then we can add this registry and it will push automatically. The updates are coming automated together with OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. So if Tumbleweed is passing with uh, our uh, tests, all will be released. I told you before uh, uh, what our plan is uh, with uh, the architecture and the open source way. Uh, uh, with uh, containerization for all Linux distributions. Here you can see how we plan that with our open source uh, 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 and community distributions uh, together. On the right side, you can see the open build service and we publish containers based on the community distributions to Docker Hub and registry.opensuse.org and then you can use it uh, on all community distributions with multiple container platforms then. What is the future of community distributions on the mainframe? Until now, now OpenSUSE, Fedora and Debian are running all uh, on S390X and these community distributions can give access to open source container images. At the end, you can use all three Kubernetes distributions based on mainframes then and on this way collaboration is also possible together. From this topic, we spoke a lot here about OpenSUSE and the collaboration things and container images. Our goal is also to both support multiple container platforms on IBM C and that should be also open source. Let's come back to uh, 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 this uh, picture. You can see, yes, Kuber the Kubernetes logo. You can install Kubernetes manually uh, on your Linux distribution, of course. Then there is the logo of our own OpenSUSE uh, project, OpenSUSE Cubic, OKD, which is the uh, open source uh, uh, co uh, container platform from Red Hat, you can run it on Fedora also, Minikube and Rancher, which is also available for, as an open source and free version from SUSE and it is supporting most Linux distributions. So what is OpenSUSE Cubic and what do we plan there? That is the free container platform by OpenSUSE and uh, uh, it has been founded in the, the May 2017. The start was of course for x86. Now I want uh, to release it also for S390X. I plan that in around one month. The base operating system is OpenSUSE MicroOS. OpenSUSE MicroOS is a minimal operating system based on OpenSUSE Tumbleweed at the moment. SUSE is providing something equal to that for enterprise customers and is releasing SUSE Linux Enterprise Micro and, and now. So uh, you can see equal to Red Hat with the Red Hat Core OS and Fedora Core OS, we provide uh, uh, something equal with the name OpenSUSE Micro OS. Our default container runtime in OpenSUSE uh, Cubic is Podman. It is possible uh, to use other container runtimes there but the default container runtime, which is pre-installed, is Podman. You can find this project under cubic.opensuse.org. 
when we are coming to Rancher, here you can uh, is, is, uh, see that is an open source container platform. You can use it for free, the same as uh, as an enterprise uh, container platform, and it is runnable on most Linux distributions. Here you can see a list. We don't uh, uh, support only Slash. We are supporting Ray, Oracle Linux, Ubuntu, OpenSUSE, and CentOS besides of SUSE Linux Enterprise Server. We have tested uh, it with OpenSUSE Leap and Tumbleweed on S390X now. So you can use the free version before the release at the end of the year with SUSE Linux Enterprise Server together for S390X. I told you now a lot about OpenSUSE and our plans. Here is a little bit, uh, some information about the S390X port and how uh, you can speak with me and my team. We are a team which is responsible for the OpenSUSE development for IBM C and Linux One. You can see we are doing some more stuff because of our containerization project. I am responsible for all uh, OpenSUSE uh, uh, distributions and the stuff based on IBM C and Linux One as a member of the release engineering team. You can find most information about uh, our team in our wiki under EN OpenSUSE org C systems. I told you about the open build system. We have got our own project there with all packages, ISO images and container images. So you can find us under factory C systems. I told you we are based on factory and we have got the C systems port there. Therefore, that is the reason that we have got the OpenSUSE factory C systems name for our project. We have got also a mailing list. C systems at lists.opensuse.org. You can ask questions there, you can speak with us there. So you are free uh, to uh, uh, come in contact with us. We have got also an IRC channel on Libera chat. You can speak with us under OpenSUSE C systems. Welcome to us. And now we are coming to QA. Ask your question.